you guys uh, welcome to your um Taurus versus all 12 signs reading. Uh, this is going to be for your September 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Uh, so first we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for September and then we'll finish off the read with Taurus versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Just a quick note on that you guys, I don't timestamp those because they're such quick messages. They're only a couple of seconds two card each for each of the zodiac signs so it's kind of like not worth time stamping them because they're so quick you know but if someone wants to time stamp them for me that's really great if not that's great too uh so apply this to your own unique situation keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you you may take a look at your other placements keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So, Taurus. Tell me about Taurus here. Taurus. What's going on with Taurus in September? What does Taurus need to know for September 2023? Tell me about Taurus in September. What does Taurus need to know for September 2023? We have the devil. Oh, wow. Capricorn energy here. And the Ten of Swords. Oh, we have the Four of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Swords here. Okay. So the Four of Cups and the Devil, Capricorn Energy, Ten of Swords here. There is an ending here. Yeah, there is about to be an ending here uh, where I feel like you're no longer wanting to deal with toxic situations or that you're trying to overcome codependency here. Um, I do feel like maybe someone here is also overcoming or someone has, here is hitting rock bottom. Uh, you know, regarding their addictions here, such as, you know, maybe a uh, drug addiction or like drinking problem or something like that. Uh, because I feel like someone here is about, yeah, someone here is coming to a realization that, you know what, I am slowly killing myself here and I don't want to do that anymore. You know, I don't want to uh, continuously to create my own suffering. Now, Taurus, this doesn't have to be you. It could be someone in and around you, your life, in your life that's going through this, okay? So uh, Judgment, Sagittarius energy here with a Six of Wands here and also the Three of Pentacles here. I almost get the feeling that someone here is having this major aha moment, this major epiphany. Uh, because I feel like, you know, I feel like you're finding support or someone here is fine, whoever I'm reading for here, someone here is definitely finding support in helping them to overcome some sort of addiction here, okay? So, uh, yeah, it so, definitely has something to do with a drinking problem. Yeah, it definitely has something to do with a drinking problem here. So, Taurus, like I said, if this is not you, this could be someone else or that, you know, if this is you, you could be just like, you know what? I don't want to deal with toxic behavior here. I don't have time for that, you know? I just want to be happy. Uh, I don't want to be surrounded, uh, so be surrounding myself in this like very heavy energy here, right? The uh, devil card here and the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, one of the things I'm getting here, I say, I feel like someone here is dealing with some sort of mental health issue here too. Yeah, someone here is definitely dealing with some sort of mental health issue here. You know, someone here could be coming to you for help when it comes to this here. Okay, we have the moon, ten of swords here, judgment, and the ace of cups. Someone here is finally accepting some sort of truth here because I feel like someone here has been in denial or sweeping things under the rug here. Yeah, I, I feel like something has washed over someone here and I feel like someone here is just realizing that, you know, I can't do this. And like I said, if this is not you, someone here could be coming to you for help. You know, Taurus, Six of Wands here and the Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Swords. You know, whoever is going through this, the reason why that this person has been in this energy here, I feel like this person has been through a lot of hurt, a lot of pain and a lot of suffering here. And I feel like what this person has done is turn to certain substances to numb their pain here. And I feel like this person cannot do it anymore because over time, whatever they've been holding on to, it just kept snowballing and snowballing and snowballing and snowballing and it turned, it became really heavy. And I just feel like this person just has to release. Yeah, let's see. 
Uh, Taurus versus all 12 signs. Taurus versus all 12 signs. From Aries all the way to Pisces. Taurus versus all 12 signs. From Aries all the way to Pisces. Like I said, you guys, I'm, I, I don't timestamp these because they are really, 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 really quick messages. Okay? Okay. Uh, Taurus versus an Aries here. We have the star card here. Aquarius energy here in the Ace of Wands. There's a passionate new beginning that's starting here between you and this person. Could be, uh, you know, could be someone new that's coming into your life and they feel like this person finds you very attractive or that they see you as the one. Yeah. Taurus versus a Taurus here with the High Priestess here and the Five of Pentacles here. Whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's suffering in silence here. Okay, this person is deeply insecure. I feel like this person is a bit of a loner here. Okay, and I feel like this person has a hard time really expressing themselves here too. So I feel like you don't really know what's going on with this person truly, but you know that there's something going on with them. Uh, Taurus versus a Gemini here with the Ten of Wands here and the Six of Wands. Um, whoever this is, I feel like this person is definitely going through some sort of ego death here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person's going through some major changes personally here. And I feel like this person's releasing their ego here or letting their ego go. Okay, Taurus versus a Cancer here with the Page of Pentacles here and the Hierophant. This person's offering you marriage. If not marriage, commitment. Yeah, some sort of higher levels of commitment here. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, you and this Cancer here. Um, Taurus versus a Leo here. We have the Queen of Wands here and the Knight of Wands. Um... I feel like this person's only here for a fun time and not a long time. Yeah, this person just wants to have a good time. Uh, this person just wants to have earth shattering sex, nothing more, okay? Um, Taurus versus a Virgo here. We have the Magician here and the Eight of Cups. This is interesting. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is testing you. Yeah, I almost get the sense that they're pushing your boundaries to see how far, she, to see how far they could push you and you will still stay. Yeah, I don't know why this yeah that's just bananas i don't know why this person's doing that but I, I do feel like it stems from maybe this person's deep insecurities because i feel like this person has abandonment issues um taurus versus the libra here we have the five of wands here and the eight of swords there's a lot of arguing and fighting here yeah there's a lot of arguing and fighting here and it seems like you know uh the the arguing and fighting is based off of fear someone's fears here it's like someone here just cannot accept what someone's telling them is true. Like, for example, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I would never hurt you or never break your heart or I won't leave you. And someone here is not trusting that. Someone here just keeps kind of like digging and digging and digging and digging, but they're getting the same answer, but they're not trusting it. Okay. Um, uh, Taurus versus a Scorpio here. We have the two of wands here and the ten of cups. Um, this person's not really quite sure if they want commitment here with you because I feel like this person, person's still exploring other options here. Taurus versus Sagittarius here. Seven of Pentacles here and a Strength card here. I feel like this person's getting really impatient with you. Yeah, this person's getting really impatient with you because you're you're moving things along too slowly. And I feel like this person's like ready to jump in bed with you. Just be careful. Yeah, because I do feel like this is an individual that tends to uh, break or push people's boundaries here. Okay, boundaries is really important here. Okay, uh, tell me about Taurus versus a Capricorn. Ace of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles. This person's in love with you. Uh, this is a prosperous new beginning here in love. Okay, whoever this is, I feel like this person's definitely thinking long term here with you. This is definitely a new person here, new love. Okay, Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about Taurus versus um, an Aquarius. We have the Five of Swords here and Justice. Some here is receiving karma here for uh, causing a lot of uh, pain in your life here. Okay, whoever this is, I do feel like this person has been very, 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 very like maybe physical with you or verbally abusive here with you. And I feel like this escalated towards some sort of court case here. Okay, uh, Taurus versus the Pisces here with the King of Cups here and the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. I feel like you're this Queen of Pentacles here. I do feel like this, this King of Cups here is in love with you. Yeah, they're in love with you. I feel like this person cannot stop thinking about you or that this person is completely enamored by you here. All right. So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.